Ayush. I have made a presentation on the solar system and I want to show it to my teacher. How do I take the presentation with me to the school? You can email the presentation, but let us ask the teacher if there is any other way. Dear kids, today we will learn about the secondary memory which is also called storage devices. We have already learned that the devices on which a computer stores the data or information are known as computer memory or storage devices. Computers have two types of memory, primary memory or main memory and secondary memory or auxiliary memory. So, the key differences between primary memory and secondary memory are primary memory is directly accessible by the CPU whereas secondary memory is not. Primary memory is generally volatile and holds data for short periods of time whereas secondary memory is non-volatile. Primary memory is internal or non-removable whereas Secondary memory is external, detachable and portable. Examples of primary memory are RAM, ROM and cache. Examples of secondary memory are hard disk, CD, DVD, pen drive etc. A hard disk drive, sometimes abbreviated as a hard drive, HD or HDD is non-volatile secondary storage device. Hard disks use magnetic recording to store information on rotating circular patterns. Hard disks can store large amount of data. The capacity of a hard disk is usually measured in gigabytes GB. A gigabyte is 1000 megabytes and a megabyte is 1000 kilobytes and 1 kilobyte is 1000 bytes which means that a gigabyte is 1 billion bytes. Some hard drives are so large that the capacity is measured in terabytes TB where 1 terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. Another type of secondary storage device is compact disc or CDs. A compact disc is a round, flat piece of plastic that is used to store and play back information. This information can be music, pictures or computer programs and games. A standard CD has a capacity of 700 MB. CDs are read with a laser. A CD is played by putting it into a CD player or a computer. The next secondary device is DVD. DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disc or a Digital Video Disc. It is an optical disc capable of storing up to 4.7 GB of data, more than six times what a CD can hold. DVDs are often used to store movies, like CDs, DVDs are read with a laser. The disc can have one or two sides and one or two layers of data per side. The number of sides and layers decides how much it can hold. Pen drive also known as flash drive is used for storing or transferring data. It works when inserted into a USB port. It comes in various capacities like 1 GB, 2 GB, 16 GB, 32 GB and up to 1 TB. It is very quick and easy to use. A memory card also called as a storage card, is a small storage device often used to store photos, 
videos or other data in electronic devices like digital cameras and mobile phones. Let us revise some of the abbreviations we learnt. KB stands for kilobyte. MB stands for megabyte. GB stands for gigabyte. TB stands for terabyte. RAM stands for random access memory. ROM stands for read only memory. CD stands for compact disc. DVD stands for digital versatile disc. PD stands for pen drive. HD stands for hard disk. HDD stands for hard disk drives. Okay kids, let us revise what we have just learned. Which type of storage has moving parts? The hard disk has moving parts. Which is the optical storage? CDs and DVDs are the optical storage. Which storage devices are portable? Primary or secondary? Secondary storage devices are portable. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning. <laughs>